Okay, so the men's draw for Indian Wells has just been released, and there are some crazy first-round matches, and some of these sections of the draw are absolutely crazy. But uh, let's go to the players that are not playing. Only a couple of names that have withdrawn from this tournament. All right, so the three players that are not playing in this event, Jera, he's pulled out. McDonald has also pulled out, and Karatsev has also pulled out of this one. So not major names. They weren't going to be seated at this event, but still, some very uh, dangerous opponents. Here we go. Okay, let's start at the top of the draw. Uh, 32 seeds in this one, of course. Every seed gets a buy in the first round. Novak Djokovic playing for this uh, tournament for the first time in five years. He is the number one seed, gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on either a qualifier or Vukic in the second round. Then you got Kovacevic taking on Zong. Winner of that will take on the number 30 seed, Echeverry, in the second round. So then you got the 17th seed, Paul. Uh, he'll take on the winner of Mikkelsen and Munara in the second round. Then you got a qualifier taking on Kipson. Winner of that will take on Umber in the second round. And we all know that Umber's in great form. Djokovic Umber could be a fourth round crazy. Uh, crazy match if we can get it. Of course, players to watch out for, Novak Djokovic. Got to watch out for him. Umber playing really well. Tommy Paul as well. Definitely shouldn't be overlooked, even though he hasn't been playing great at the big tournament this year. He has still been uh, very dangerous in the past. Anyways, next section of the draw, we've got Casper Ruud, the number nine seed, gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on a qualifier in the second round, because we've got two qualities going at it. Then we've got Feast taking on Borges. Winner of that would take on the number 23 seed, Fakina, in the second round. Then you've got the number 28 seed, Nori. He will take on either Sinego and Kichmenov or Kichmenovic in the second round. Then you've got Monfils taking on Purcell. Winner of that will take on the number eight seed, Hercatch, in the second round. So, really interesting little section there for Hercatch. Very tricky section for her catch as well. You know, you got to look out for her catch. you got to look out for Rude in this section of the draw. And I'd be definitely keeping an eye on Monfils as well, who has been very dangerous of late. This section of the draw, though, will take on the Djokovic section. So we're going to go by the big names. Djokovic taking on her catch. You want to go with something a little different, maybe Djokovic versus Rude. Kasper Rude has played pretty well the last couple of weeks, making back-to-back -back finals in Mexico. Or if you want to go with something a little more, uh, maybe a little bit more random, Djokovic versus Monfils. If you want to back Le Mans, to make it to the quarters and have a great run at this event. All right, next section of the draw, we've got Medvedev, number four seed. He gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on the winner of Kaboli or Bayana in the second round. Then you got Safiul and taking on Evans. Winner of that will take on the number 29 seed, Korda, in the second round. Then you got the number 21 seed, Manorino. He'll take on either Vavrinka or Mahach in the second round. Qualifier takes on Muller. Winner of that will take on the number 13 seed, Dimitrov, in the second round. Medi's section is far from easy. This is not an easy section. Korda, on his day, can be dangerous. Nearly beat Rafa here a couple of years ago. Uh, Dimitrov can beat Medvedev, I think might have beaten him at this place a couple of years ago. So really interesting section here for Medvedev to navigate and not, not very easy. All right, bottom section of the top half, we've got Taylor Fritz. The number 12 seed will take on either Kotov or Tobilo in the second round. Then you've got Fanini taking on Moraes. Winner of that will take on Baez, the 19th seed in the second round, who's been playing really well on the clay courts of late. Then you've got Musetti, 26th seed. It's a buy in the first round. He'll take on either Van der Zanchel or Shapovalov in the second round. Then you've got Rayonis taking on Nadal. You heard that correct. Rayonis versus Nadal. Winner plays the number seven seed, Runa. That section alone is insane. That is crazy. Not to mention you've got Chapo and, and, and Musetti, but we'll get to that in a second. Players to watch out for, of course. You've got to watch out for Runa. You've got to watch out for Fritz. Of course, you've got to watch out for Rafa. You've got to watch out for Rayonis, who made a semifinal back in 2019 here. And Shapovalov, also very dangerous. And I'm really interested to see Baez as well. Because Baez has been great on clay. How does that translate to a slow hard court? So this section alone is stacked. Not to mention this section will take on the Medvedev section. So we could be getting, if we go by the seeds, Medvedev versus Runa. We could be getting Medvedev versus Fritz. We want to go with something a little bit more Indian Wells friendly. Or we could be getting Medvedev versus Baez. Or maybe even the dream of Medvedev versus Nadal in the quarterfinals. And of course, this section will take on the Djokovic section in the semifinals. So, Djokovic, Medvedev, semifinal potentially. Or Djokovic versus Runa. If you want to go with something a little different, or if you want to dream really, really, really big, Djokovic Nadal in the set. <laughs> I know it might be a little crazy, and it probably isn't going to happen. But hey, we can dream, can't we? We can dream. All right, let's go to the bottom half of the draw. Bottom half of the draw here, you've got Rublev, the number five seed. He will take on either Murray or a qualifier in the second round. Then you've got Eubanks taking on Nakashima. Winner of that will take on the number 32 seed, Lehechka, in the second round. Then you got the number 18 seed, Tiafo. He will take on either Lajevic or Rusevori in the second round. Then you've got a qualifier versus Altmaier. Winner of that will take on the number 11 seed, Stefanos Tsitsipas, in the second round. Very interesting draw here. Kind of like the Medvedev section. You know, you got Rublev, you got Tsitsipas, you got Tiafo. They've all played well 
at big tournaments like this before. Lehechka, you know, on the rise as well. And then you've got players like Murray. This section's really interesting. I don't know who comes out of it. Next section of the draw, you've got Shelton, the number 16 seed. He'll take on either Menzik or a qualifier in the second round. Then you've got Shevchenko taking on Kopfer. Winner of that will take on the number 22 seed, Sarundalo, in the second round. Then you've got the number 25 seed, Struff. He'll take on either Chorich or Ovna in that second round. Then you've got Kokonakis versus Giron. Winner of that will take on the number three seed, the man of the moment, Yannick Sinner. The Australian Open champion, Yannick Sinner in that second round. So Sinner's draw, pretty good. I mean, I don't think there's super threats, um, especially because the only guys that can beat him are in the other half of the draw anyway, or at least recently, with Djokovic being the only guy that's really beaten him lately. So I don't think Sinner's going to be too, uh, too bothered by anyone in this section on paper. This section, of course, will take on the Rublev section in the quarters, so we could be getting Sinner versus Rublev, we could be getting Sinner versus Pass, or we could be getting Sinner versus Tiafo, because Big Foe has played well here, is the semi-finalist from last year, uh, along with Sinner making the semis in uh, 2023. So that could be really fun, but I don't think Sinner's going to be too bothered by anybody in this little section. All right, next section of the draw, you've got number 16, Zverev. He'll take on either O'Connell or Draper in the second round. Then you've got Hamman taking on Cashin. Winner of that would take on the number 27 seed, Griegspor, in the second round. Then you've got the 20th seed, Bublik. He'll take on either a qualifier or Thompson in the second round. Then you've got Daniel versus Gallen. Winner of that would take on the number 10 seed, Demonor, in the second round. Of course, Demonor has been so, so good winning Acapulco last week and beating City Pass and Rude to do it. So Demonor is really, really in some form this year, not to mention also beat Djokovic earlier in the season. So this section's kind of cool. I mean, you know, Demonor's in great form. Bublik made a final last week. Zverev's looking for form. He played kind of bad last week. Didn't, you know, lost first round. So really interesting section. Those guys definitely to watch. I'd be watching out for Thompson as well because after winning his first title, he's going to be feeling pretty good about himself. Did beat City Pass here last year. In a big upset in the first couple of days. So really fun little section there. And really keen to see if Demon can keep going from strength to strength. Bottom section of the draw now. We've got the number 15 seed, Hashinov. He'll take on either a qualifier or Wolf in the second round. Then we've got Marajan taking on Popper. And winner of that will take on the number 24 seed, Jarry, in the second round. Then we've got FAA, uh, number 31 seed. He'll play a qualifier in the second round because we've got two qualifiers going at it in that first round. Then we've got Van H taking on Arnaldi. Winner of that will take on the number two seed and defending champion, Carlos Alcaraz, who has got a foot problem or had a foot problem by rolling the ankle in Rio a couple of weeks ago. So definitely interested to see fitness-wise how he looks in the first couple of rounds. And there's not an easy first couple of rounds. I mean, FAA can play, Arnaldi's been in form. So definitely a, a, a tough test for Carlos early on. Uh, but of course, players to watch. you got to watch out for Alcaraz. you got to watch out for Jarry. Jarry did beat Alcaraz on the clay courts a couple of weeks ago. Definitely a threat. Hashinov also won a title this year already. Of course, this section will take on the Zverev section. So we could be getting Alcaraz versus Zverev in a quarterfinal. We could be getting Alcaraz versus Demonor in a quarterfinal. If you want to go with the guy who's been in the best form out of this section... And of course, this section will take on the semifinals against Sinner's section. So we could be getting Alcaraz Sinner. Rematch of last year's semifinal. We could be getting uh, Alcaraz versus Rublev. We could be getting Alcaraz versus City Pass. If you think Sinner's the guy to make it through, maybe you go Sinner versus Dem uh, Demonor, which is probably the one, the most informed two players in the section, right? So Sinner versus Demonor is maybe the most likely based on form. Or maybe you want to go Sinner versus Verev. You want to get something a little bit different again. But there's so many little crazy pockets, right? It's maybe not a crazy draw all around. There's some players that have really simple roads. There's some players that have nightmare first, second rounds. There's like little pockets of the draw that are just insane. Uh, especially that section with Nadal and, and, and Rayonic and, and Runa. That section is just like such a, a hot little mess. I love it. Uh, absolutely love it. But let me know down in the comments below if you're watching this later. Who do you think is going to win Indian Wells? Uh, look, I'm going to go with Djokovic because, I mean, look, his draw looks good. I mean, Sinner's on the other side. Maybe he plays Sinner in the final. Maybe he gets revenge. Maybe he doesn't. Uh, Sinner's draw is not too bad either. You know, there are some more threats than Djokovic maybe, but, uh, I mean, it's got to be one of those guys, right? You pick the guys that are playing well. I really want to see how Diminor does. Really, really keen to see how he does as well. Uh, and how Alcaraz looks physically, right? I mean, you know, defending champion, but has got that injury problem. But, uh, man, what a great draw. Indian Wells, the biggest tournament since the Australian Open.